Cheapo alert! It smells worse than Taco Bell. She looks good! I don't know. What's going on now? Locked up. Longer battery cables here. Yeah. Woo! Oh. It needs that marble magic, don't it? The fuck, the Lord. This will be easy. Expect this thing to actually. Well, we're back again. And I was going to clean up the dart wagon today, but Ralphie and the wife and Wawa here said we got to make a second attempt at this. You guys were talking in the live stream we did that we need to do a second attempt on this. Uh, we we did a, an attempt to do a will it start on this, I don't know, six months or more ago. And uh, down in the comments, you guys posted up stuff saying like, you know, uh, you should have tried 24 volts, should have done a compression check on it, should have pulled the valve cover and check stuff. So I guess that's what we're going to do today is we're going to try some of the things that you guys commented and see if we can get this thing going. It's a 1971 International Metro Mott. So it used to be a postal vehicle and that's why it's right hand drive and everything. It's got a AMC, I think it's a 232 AMC inline six and a three speed automatic four nine inch rear end. So in the old video, we got all the brakes fixed for it. So it has all new brakes. It's got a new alternator, a new carburetor. If you go back and watch it, uh, so a lot of the work's already done, but I guess we're going to tow this thing with the tractor up to the shop and start working on it and see if we can get it running with some of the tips you guys uh, offered us in the last video. Yeah, you want me to move it? Supposed to turn it on first, bro. I mean, this thing has a new lease on life now that we got the new casings on it. Comfy seat there for you. Very comfy. Right, let's put it in oh, neutral job. here. Yeah, you'll probably have to push the brakes pretty hard, but it should have brakes. Brake short. That probably holds. Yep. That's a good girl. I guess I'm gonna let Ralphie drive the Metro Mont and I'm gonna drive this thing. Because we did them, that's why the brakes work good. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get our ramps right. Maybe we can make it in here. no mirrors i really don't can't see out the back window at all so we'll see how this goes like, oh man the brakes are touchy huh yeah go girl push guys push push <laughs> we were a little light on pushing oh, oh, oh no, we 
three and two. I don't know. That worked pretty good, huh? We've never used a tractor to push before. Yeah. I'm sorry, Rocky. There's school bus seats in there. <laughs> we might have to mount them if we get this thing running. Well, I don't think we'll fit all of them. No, no. We bought extras. <laughs> yeah, just in case. I sent the wife after him to get like four, and she got ten. Just in case. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Awesome, put some seat belts. It's like a family vacation, the movie. Got the old dog tied up to the back. I'm gonna leave that there forever. Cheapo alert! This little tiny shifter, is there something else that's supposed to be on this? Ralphie thinks we need to hook like an enormous shifter arm, and I kind of agree with him on that one. So I guess this is where they put their mail back when they ran the mail route with it. And after it was a mail vehicle, uh, there's a sticker that shows it was at craft fairs, so apparently it was at craft fairs. Now, if you can tell, the engine's laying over this way because we took the motor mounts loose in the last video, jacked the motor up, took the oil pan off, so I'm, I just kind of stuck the pan back on it at the time. So I'm going to have to go back and put the pan back on it, bolt the engine mounts back down, probably, and put oil on it and stuff before we start. Smells worse than Taco Bell. Yeah, damn. Clean your seats. Oh, this stuff's gonna be disgusting. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's looking good. Yeah. Looks like I'm gonna have to support the engine from the top with our new engine hoist that the preacher sent us. And uh, that way we can get enough room to uh, bolt the engine back in because it's kind of wonky right now. My so I pulled the intake bolt out and I pulled one of the bolts out for the coil mount and I'm going to try to put a chain across this thing and pick it up here. Push it there, honey, bunny. There we go. First time we've used this engine hoist since the, it got donated to us. Yeah, going up. It's kind of funny picking the engine up through the door. <laughs> you have to. Yeah. That's what's stopping the engine from coming up any higher. <laughs> nothing, nothing holding in there much now. All right, let it down slowly, honey bunny. All right, hold on, hold on. Over like it. the track, um, truck that we had, the, the C10, yeah, and it. flip these over. All right, let it down just a little bit more, honey. Give it a little, like, yeah. Give it an eh? Yeah. Give it an eh. Yeah. I don't know, I got rust in my ear holes and everything right now. It feels like it's in the right spot. All right, let some more weight on it. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. That rust scared fell me. on my mouth. Oh, that scared me to death. That scared you, Ralphie? Yeah, honestly, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. We put a new belt on it. We put a new alternator on it. And, uh because the alternator was locked up. I'm going to take the belt off so we have less things spinning to try to start this thing. His belly gets so big, and you should feel it. It's hard as a rock. If he's been out in the yard grazing for a while, his belly gets so big. Well, I've got to put some new diesel oil on this thing because... Uh, at the end of the last video, we took the oil pan off, pulled a rod and main cap just to show you guys what the bearings look like in it. And uh, you can see that the cylinder walls look kind of rough from the bottom, but I'm going to go ahead and do a little test fire here on 12 volts just to see if, you know, I don't know, maybe some magic happened while it was parked in the backyard. Now don't worry, the battery cables are backwards, so the red one's going to the negative and the black one's going to the positive. 
torn up work around me. I don't remember this. Key work on this one? Oh, key worked, okay. Let's see what happens. See how slow it cranks now. Open the choke in case it's suddenly it. Here how slow that thing's cranking. That was our problem before is it's just like it's in a bind really bad and the more we cranked on it the worse it got. Well let's confirm it has spark here. Yeah, we got plenty of spark. I think I am gonna go ahead and pull the plugs out of it though. And uh actually put some a little bit more marble down the cylinders because I think it's that's where our friction is and probably check the compression while we have them out. Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude 88. It fell on the floor. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. We looking in my bag. So in the last video, we replaced all the plugs in it. We put new points and cap, rotor and plug wires. We had the starter rebuilt, new battery cables. We worked and worked and worked on it. So Star everything rebuilt? basically is new on it. Yeah. Oh. We actually ordered a new one and it came in wrong and then we rebuilt the old one. <sighs> Drop another. Yeah, be careful because you'll crack them there, they're good then. It is. That one's. So I'm not going to put much oil in there, just a little bit, because if you look at the old video, it seemed to turn over a little better when we first put the marble in it. And it seemed to, like the more we crank it, like the more the cylinder wall is just like dried out and had more friction. So I'm gonna put a little bit of oil. I'm gonna spin it over just to get any excessive oil out of there because I don't wanna throw off the compression test because we have a bunch of oil in the cylinder. Okay, first cylinder here on the back. Well, that had 90. That's not bad. Next one, 90 again. So that's good. What's going on now? What's up? I'm gonna try to turn the engine over by the end of the crank snout here. It won't turn. It's like it's locked up. I have two wrenches on it now. Okay. Let's turn a little bit there and see if that helps. What's up with our starter then? Alright, so that one has that one hit like a hundred, hundred and ten. So that one's really good. Alright, next one here. So that one has about 80. So third one from the front has the lowest compression so far. But that's plenty enough compression to run off of. That wouldn't stop it from running. That one's got about 70, 75. Last one, cylinder number one. All right, it hit 90. So we have plenty of compression to run. So there's no reason to pull the valve cover or anything like that. Uh, I mean, our one of our Dodge Darts we just got run only had 30, 30 or 25 PSI on one cylinder and it started up and ran fine. We're gonna put the plugs back in it and probably hook it up to 24 volts. I decided to uh, go ahead and check the ignition timing uh, to see if uh, we're way off or something with ignition timing, which I don't think we are, but I'm gonna go ahead and check it. So for some reason it wasn't Showing up on my timeline. I want to verify that we were getting spark on this cylinder. Yeah, we're getting spark. So my timing light must be messing up on me. Try this one more time with the light and see if we get anything. No, nothing. Well, apparently my timing light's broke. That's wonderful news. Well, I guess I'm just going to put it together then and try it. Yeah, you know, if we have a lot more problems, I may go get a new timing light or whatever but right now i'm just gonna try this thing so the next thing i want to do is try it with 24 volts like you guys have been wanting me to do uh you were saying in the comments so uh our battery cables are really not long enough to do that without you know having a battery situation 
So I'd like to set the batteries in here with uh, the cables going back this way. So I went ahead and got some um, longer battery cables here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these and get them on there so we can just put the batteries in here wherever we want to. Gosh, those packages were a pain to get open. Um, and also, we'll be switching back to the correct color on our uh, battery cables here. I wonder why they don't sell anything bigger than a four gauge at the parts store. You, I was gonna buy like a zero gauge cable. Only thing they have was four gauge. I'm moving the ground cable straight to the starter bolt so it has the best chance of turning it over because I, I really didn't like how it was on the front of that intake like that. Maybe this will work. We got our special made cable here we made when we were working on the 65 dart with the 24 volts. Boom! Why? It didn't scare you? No. Okay. Now it's safe. All right, well, here's the moment of truth, guys. Do you think it's going to work yes. on 24 volts? There's a chance. There's a chance. All right, what's the percentage rate? 78.5%. Per, okay. 60, 67.0012. Oh, that doesn't even count. Please. Okay. What's your percentage you think it'll do it? Uh, 13. Oh, Lord. Chance it's gonna oh, do it. well, that's all. Oh, I hope it does. Man, that would be so great. If it started, like, first try on 24 volts, that would be awesome. It's always a little iffy hooking this up. It always scares me just Ooh. a little bit. Hopefully our rebuilt starter hangs in there for this. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, I just seen that's that turned over really fast. I just saw it puff. It backfired out the intake through the hole. So this, I didn't realize this is open. So we're gonna have to plug that back up where our battery cable was. That sounded pretty good though. Hey, she was dinging, wasn't she? Yeah, it was dinging. It's, it's moving up. That sounded <laughs> promising. Uh, I hope, hope, hope this thing runs. All right, guys, here we go. Well, now it doesn't seem like it's firing, does it? No. Like it was before. Let me give it some more fuel. Get rid of beans. Let me get a big shot of fuel and see what that does. because we have no water in it right now because and it's smoking this thing sat out over the winter and i drained the cooling system i i you guys were right your percentages were much better than mine i can't believe it ran and you guys are right the commenters from the first video we should have tried 24 volts on it you're right uh, i should have done it before i hear some at least valve train rattle I think she got not a rod noggin. And uh, <laughs> it is chugging, chugging like crazy out of the valve cover here. But what we'll do is uh, we'll hook the cooling system back up, put some water in it, check the oil, and we'll crank it up again. You want to try it on next time? You want to try it on 12? 12? We might try it on 12 first because 
you know, usually, usually after you run on 24 and get them actually to start up like that, everything frees up and it starts a lot easier after that. So we'll probably try on 24 volts. Wow. Yeah. Can you believe it? I'm this going to do two claps and a Rick Flair. Woo! Oh, Rick Flair over here. Mine is so smoky. In here. I'm going to open the rest of the doors. Just because she smoked, don't make she broke. That's right. They don't think our shop's on fire. Rocky, are you wanting in? I'm sorry, buddy. We'll find some animal crackers for you or something. Hello. I feel like, you know, we didn't even know it, but we had Rocky's blessing because he was right on the <laughs> other side of the wall. It was Rocky's blessing that did it, I think. I think you're right. This has a thick dipstick. I didn't realize how much dipsticks have went downhill over the years, you know? I mean, you used to really could do some work with a dipstick. I mean, I work with them now, but you know what I mean. Yeah, it looks like we need to put one more cord in it, probably. Can we use this? We could put marble in it instead of regular oil. Yeah, that's a better idea. Just to free it out and get you all juicy. That marble magic. It needs that marble magic, don't it? Mm -hmm. Here lately, we've been buying it by the gallon since we use it all the time. I have had good luck with this freeing up old lifters and stuff, old ticks that engines had. So maybe it'll work on this. What movie are we watching tonight? Oh man, what movie we're gonna watch? Last oh, Samurai. Please. Last Samurai is great. Could finish that one out. Pull our eyeballs out. <laughs> All right, we just need water for this. I need y'all to get a bunch of water. All right. Oh my gosh, you brought a whole five gallon bucket. Thank you. That should be a lot of water. Thank you. Feels hot. It is hot. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, why is it every car? 24 volts. 24 volts fixes everything. So me being me always in a hurry, I didn't even bolt the engine back in. I just sat it down on the mounts. So we're gonna bolt in the engine now that it runs and uh, take her for a test drive. You're such a negative Nancy, you didn't think it would run. So you yeah. wasn't gonna Well, I wasn't gonna waste no time bolting this in if it was just gonna have to pull it back out if it didn't run. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pick the engine back up just a little bit to get these bolts on. Go slow, okay? All right, hold it right there for a second. A little bit more, Ralphie. All right, right there. I should've just had faith and went ahead and bolted the engine in for good. We could already be driving by now, probably. Ah! I'm going to go ahead and put the belt back on it here so we have a charging and cooling system as well. That's usually pretty helpful. It sounded it was like it was running really rich when it was running, too. Oh, did it wake you up getting it running? You decide you're going to come out here now that it's fun? I'm also going to go ahead and hook up the vacuum advance. Some of you guys probably noticed that that was unhooked. So... Maybe that'll help how it runs. I think it's running really rich. I'm going to check the idle mixture screw adjustment. I'm just glad we're driving something that already has brakes and everything, which we don't even know if our transmission works yet, but we know we have park. I guess we're full. Okay, guys, we got it hooked back up on 24 volts. I went one turn in on the idle mixture because it was two and a half turns out. I think that's probably why it was running so rich. So let's see if it'll crank. Oh, is that screwed out of the tap? I'm gonna do it. That's all I need. Oh, we're gonna have to get this choke to stay open. <laughs> I can't believe it actually started after that. It's supposed to have like a heat riser tube to to turn the choke off, so we're gonna use that instead. Turn the choke off. All right, will it crank back up? What's it doing? It's like hitting one spot and stopping. It might need some fuel. It sounded like it had way too much timing. I'm gonna cap this back off in the back in advance. Leave it a little bit high idle right there. Alright, you guys ready to try it? Yeah. See if the transmission. 
This rolly wheel thing. It's so cool. Dragging the dog chase. But it's like you're driving on top of the world or something. I know, it's very high. I love it. So Ooh. Ooh. I can't believe it. The brakes work pretty good too. Turn around here by the house and then we'll let somebody else drive. 
You're done. Ah! You're gonna have to wait your turn. You're always getting the drive. Come up here, I'll push the pedal. Sorry for you. about that, Dad. You did great. You're gonna fall down into D. One click. There you go. Don't hit the don't hit the dart. Turn it this way. Turn, turn, turn. Turn towards the house. A bunch, a bunch. There you go. This is crazy, and the roof is so tall. Turn real hard to the left. Squeeze. More, more, more. More turn, oh more God. turn. Oh it's got manual speed. Oh dear God, help us all. <laughs> Alright, you guys are going to have to watch out for Rocky. Yeah. What did you ride? Man, it's just running so smooth now. Let me just check it here. I'll check it right here <laughs> since it died here. This has the craziest little catches for your hood latch. I mean, the fuel pump works. The brakes work better than any other car we own, probably. It's doing way better. I, I never expected it to start. After the way it did last time, I never expected this. Look, poor baby. We should have walled the rear end up. You say that about everything. I know, but this one will be Quartz in it wasn't showing up on the dipstick, but just on the tip. Probably need some, even though we put fluid in it in the last video we did of it. Breathe on that key, breathe on it. Oh, yeah, well, it went from not enough to too much, so that's perfect. I think we're low on coolant from where the thermostat hadn't opened before. It feels, it doesn't feel hot anymore. Ain't you gonna do a burnout? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> it jumped out of the 
up the blocks and died. <laughs> I think we're gonna try to drive it down the road to finish this off. I mean, it seems to be roadworthy, right? Rocky wanted to go, he hopped in. I mean, do you think it'll make it down the road and back? Yeah. I mean, how could it not? It's gonna, it's gonna make it. It's a little bit weird. It's so touchy on the throttle. Gotta be my seat paint. I don't know what the answer to that is, though. Yeah, I have a seat mate. Oh, are you leaving us, Rocky? You don't want to go? Well, Rocky stepped out. The fuck, the Lord. Oh, it's me. <laughs> All right, we're just going to get on this little tiny road we live on here to the neighbor's house because, uh, you know, for safety's sake, we're not going to get out on the main road or anything. Same rules as a school bus, okay? treat us too good today had it i was pudding wanting to get in the video hey pudding she is so sweet all right let's film the end of this video rocky well you know how we finish the videos off we gotta drink our rc colas and our vainas and now that ralphie has his own <laughs> his own flip-flop that'll open who shook that up i need a show of hands 
You shook it up. I keep Every telling her not time. to shake them up, but remember to pour one out for your homies right on their feet. Dad. Just right hey. on their feet. Why? This is the best way to do it. Revenge. Yeah. Shake it up again, honey. <laughs> See what happens next time. I really did not expect this thing to actually run. I had I had maybe like a 20% hope that this thing you would run. You said 13%. At the beginning. Probably 20. I definitely expected it to run and then like knock or rattle or seize up. I even told him, I said, I, I bet if this thing runs, it's going to seize up. But it yeah. didn't. It even made it down yeah, the public highway system. Home. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at SleeperDude88. SleeperDude88. And you can uh, check us out on our second channel, SleeperDude2. Sleep, SleeperDude2. We put up short clips. I show a little bit of what I do for a living. I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, we got future plans for this thing. Ralphie says I have to mount these seats as soon as possible. Come on, Wawa. Huh? Squeezy? <coughs> Honey? <coughs> Come on. What's wrong with you people? I have to have crackers. With Where'd Rocky go? He was out here. You know, do some more mechanic work to it. Get that throttle working right. The transmission shifted out good. Like, it was surprising. I'm excited. So I'd like to lower it uh, at some point. Oh, yeah. oh. And what's the future plans, honey? What do you uh, think? Lower it. Big old fat white walls. Yes. Um, yes. I want to paint the rims. Oh, what? We need like to get like foam awesome Here. moves. Here. Yeah. No, so definitely lowering it and some new casings is in the in store for this thing. I mean, up until this point, I, I was really planning on. Ah. Hey, work for her. I was really planning on V8 swapping this, but now that it's running, I'm thinking a little different. Uh, we got all kinds of other project vehicles around here. We got to get back to work on the Dart station wagon, get it cleaned up. I need to work on the engine for the Galaxy wagon. Uh, been working on the Super Coupe. I need to get it uh, going too. So the Fairmont, we need to get on it. We got a lot of projects around here is what I'm trying to say. The Chevy Malibu, the Savoy, the RV. So. Uh, make sure you check out our other videos. We got all kinds of stuff if you haven't seen them before. The F100. F100. I always forget Wait, the no F100. Parts. Wait, no parts. But uh, anyway, we'll talk to you guys later. And what do we say? Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Jesus Tell saves them. and Thank George you. Nelson withdraws. You like this one now? A little bit. <laughs> all right, Ellie. You ready? Ready? Man, she is standing on her hind legs and catching them. I knew you'd show up if I got the animal crackers out. They couldn't, we couldn't end off a video without you. Here, here, it's in my hand. <laughs> tell them bye. Ah. Are you not going to tell them bye, oh. Rocky? All right, we'll see you guys later. Rocky says bye. Children, I'll see Chug, 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 chug. The monster is going through the roof. He's gonna wet the bed tonight. That's like one and a half, like one and three quarters. Why do you think that it stopped rattling? My whole mystery does its mysteries. It's just mysterious, isn't it?